Hey, it's Alex from the Gamers Up North with another Battlefield 3 video. This one is Rush on Operation Firestorm. And I actually kind of used to hate this map, but not anymore. Around the same time I just instantly got the hang of Battlefield 3, like I was saying in my last video, I started to like this map more. Heck, I think I, I started to like all the maps more. Well, maybe not Caspian Border. Um, Caspian Border can annoy me sometimes, and I know a lot of people like Caspian Border. But I think I think the reason um, I'm not too fond of it is because I can't fly a jet or a helicopter worth shit. And it gets me even madder when I see like the craziest pilots. Um, on Damavan Peak one time, the enemy was piloting a helicopter inside the tunnel. I wasn't recording, but like I said, that just kind of made, I was like jealous. I was mad. I mean, here's here's this guy. Top Gun extraordinaire, and I'm like the Wright brothers' retarded cousin. But you know what doesn't leave me looking like an idiot? This gameplay. Um, the enemy never takes the first set of objectives um, because they are both pinned down and they just get lazy after they take A here. Um, they could have just hung back and waited for all the vehicles to spawn and then pulled an all-out blitz. I mean, you will see this one guy who drives a jeep throughout the video, who is like a, a one-man A-team, sometimes there's like another person in his jeep, but if they could have just had all four seats in the jeep filled and got past our ranks, they could have easily taken out the MCOM station. But no. So the enemy, instead, they're an unorganized, sitting duck piece of shit. And I take advantage of that, and so does my team. I go 14-1 uh, and one with the RPK at the end. And out of the starting defending guns, which are pretty bad, um, the RPK may just be the best. Before this video, I hadn't really uh, played with it before or level leveled up support at all, because I was using the Type 88 LMG in the Physical Warfare pack, which I think I got for uh, pre-ordering the game. And I didn't really like that gun, the Type 88, one bit. Um, I didn't even think to try the other starting support guns until it was like way overdue. And I actually like them. Uh, this RPK and the uh, attacking one, the M27 IAR, they're also, it's also good. Um, and the first time though I used the uh, attack one, uh, I thought it was the M416 because uh, the iron sights are so similar. So I was like, nope, uh, it has a larger clip. And see, there's a jeep guy. I was just like, oh shit, when he came, when he came over the hill. Um, and also, you saw in the beginning of the game, I got out of the tank, even though I was in uh, the secondary gunner seat. Um, it was basically because I uh, they had planted to A, and I wanted to get over there and help. But anyways, um, I don't get in a vehicle throughout the rest of the game, and that's uh, partially because when I was playing, I wasn't thinking about it, and also because I like playing infantry more. I just love playing as a soldier versus just other soldiers. As well as, kind of like I said earlier, I'm not good in vehicles. Um, I said I can't fly the air ones with crap, um, and I'm I'm so so in the land ones, like the tanks. I'm I'm just all right. I'm like I, I usually get beat. Um, hopefully that changes though, and I get better. Like last video, I said I wasn't good at sniping, and since then I've gotten better at it. Hopefully I can get some sniping gameplay soon. Um, it's not too incredible, but hopefully it'll improve. Um, and I think also since my last commentary, I urged my friends to get um, Battlefield 3. And I think uh, two of them have gotten this game since my last commentary. So hopefully I don't have to play much more multiplayer on my own like I am in this video. And in my videos, I've kind of talked about, um, I've talked a lot about playing online with people you know. Your friends, family, and anything in between. And that's just because I find I play a lot better when I'm in a squad of people. Even if we don't actually have teamwork or a strategy going on, we still do better. I almost, I was almost going to include it in, include party up in my five tips for Call of Duty video, because uh, it applies to Call of Duty too. And I think there's a, there's a few reasons why partying up helps. One is when you're playing with your friends, you're less, you're less likely to lose your cool. It can almost be a scientific fact that when you rage at video games, you start to do worse. Another is sometimes competition, I guess, like to show off, you know, do better than your friends, um, and without losing your cool or saying some hurtful things. Um, 
Another reason that applies uh, to host connection games like COD and Halo is that when you're playing with your friends, you're more likely to get a host connection in your area um, that you have a better connection to rather than uh, being connected to someone halfway across the world. And um, recently, another reason I had been playing more multiplayer on my own, um, like in my last video I was also alone, um, is because um, my disk drive, it's messed up. Um, it, it's all, it's, don't, I don't know how it happened, it just isn't reading discs for some reason. Um, so when I want to play a game, I have to put the disc in and out, and in and out, and in and out, sick-minded fiend. And I have to restart the console, put the disc in and out, and so on, and so forth. So when I finally get a disc working, I kind of just, uh, stick with playing that game. Um, despite what everyone else is playing, hence playing on my own more. And because after it worked, it didn't crash mid-game on me, which is good. But uh, now we may be getting a new Xbox Slim in the future to fix this. Uh, but if anyone here knows how to fix that disc problem, please uh, send me a message or leave a comment. Um, if you could save us the money, that would be great. Um, and my only concern about getting the Slim is if whether or not its built-in wireless network adapter is faster or slower than the previous model. I tried googling it, um, I think it is. They made a newer model for the one you plug into the back of the Xbox. Right now I have the old first adapter with one antenna. They made a new one of those with two antennas and supposedly that new technology is built into the Slim. Um, not just the two antenna part, just like better connection overall and I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys have any answers to any of those questions please leave a comment below or send me a message if not well uh, you can just like the video or comment about whatever you want and be on your way because uh, it's pretty much the end so yeah subscribe favorite all that jazz I'm supposed to say see you guys next time you've been a great audience but for now the province of Skyrim needs me